Good morning friends, I hope everyone is doing well. In this video, I want to discuss designing of a Turing machine for performing subtraction. Let's see. If I have a m value and I have n value, I want to perform subtraction. Suppose if I have taken a binary num decimal number 3 and if I want to perform subtraction with 2, I should get the result as 1. So how I will represent in the Turing machine is that I will take I will take the 3 and I will represent as a unary number and I will take 2 and I will represent it in the unary number. So 3 minus 2 I should get 1 so I will take the 1. So the number of 1s in the output will represent the actual value. Suppose if the m value is 4 so I will represent as 4 1s and n value is 2 I will represent with the 2 1s. So the output should get it as 4 minus 2 is 2 so I will take, the out, take it as the output as Two ones. So the number of ones will give me the actual result. So what I want to perform is I want to perform the subtraction for always where m is greater than n. Okay. So if the m value is greater than n, for that one only I want to design a Turing machine for performing the subtraction. Now we will see how I can represent the input on the tape. Okay. Let's take that m value is 4 okay and n value is 2 so i will differentiate both the inputs with a zero so that this is m and this is n and i will have certain number of blanks towards the left hand side towards the right hand side of the string now what i will do is that i will take the first one i will convert into a blank okay and keep on moving to the right if i see any ones i will make it as a one and move to the right if I see a 0, still I will make it as 0 and keep on moving to the right. So if I move towards the right, finally I will get a blank. Keep that blank as it is a blank and move to the left. So you will be here. So then what I will do, I will take this one and modify it to the blank. So taking one value from the m, 1m, 1, 1, is it clear? And you have cancelled and modified it to b. So you need to cancel a 1 from the n also. That's why you have made it as a blank. Then I will keep on moving to the left hand side. If I get any number of 1s, any number of zeros. So finally I will reach here. If I get a blank, modify it as a blank or keep it as a blank and move to the right. You will be here. Again, convert this 1 to the blank and move to the right. You will keep on moving to the right till you get a blank. If you get a blank, make it as a blank and move to the left. If you get a 1, modify it to the blank and move to the left. Till what? Till you get a blank here. And if you get a blank, move, make it as a blank, move to the right. So you will be here. Okay. The tape head is pointing to this one. Now if it is a 1, you modify it as a blank and move to the right side. Okay, when till what till you get a blank, you will keep on moving to the right. If you get a blank, you keep it as a blank and move to the left. Now, what you can see, you got a zero. One, one from the M, you have made it as a blank. So you are searching for a one in the N set. But if you get a blank, then what is the meaning? One blank, you modified as a blank and you went to the left hand set. In the left hand side, instead of 1, if you get a 0, the meaning is that the number of 1s in the n side is completed. Okay. So, once it is completed, how the tape will look like is you have two blanks, these three blanks, a 1 and a 0, these two blanks and blanks. Now, if you do it, take it, m value is 4, okay, n value is 2, if you perform subtraction, you will get two so in the output it should look like one one but you got the output as one zero then what we will do is that this zero i will convert into a one and i will go to the some state and i will say that this is the output i got are you able to understand it or not so what is the simple process i have done taking the first one from the m and make it as a blank keep on going find the last one in the n make it as a blank so this one this one you are cancelling it similarly this one and this one you are cancelling it finally you will get one one is it clear so 
with this procedure we will construct the Turing machine. Let's see how we can design the Turing machine. So I am taking the four ones and two zero zero two ones. Okay, m value is four, n value is two. So I am in the initial state Q naught. Okay, this is my initial state. The tape head is pointing to this one. So what I should do? If it is a one, make it as a blank, move to the right, and you reach to the state called Q one. So this one you modified it as a blank. and you move to the right now you can see any number of ones make it as a one still move to the right so all these places you will keep on moving to the right finally you will reach here if you re take as zero input as a zero make it as a zero still move to the right then you will come here again ones you make it as a one keep on moving to the right so till where till you get a blank keep it is a blank move to the left so finally you are here and you reach it to the state called q2 now what this one you are supposed to do you have to make it as a blank so if you see a one make it as a blank move to the left okay so this one you have modified it to the blank you are in the here this location and the turing machine is in the state called q3 If you see a any number of ones, make it as a one, move to the left. Okay, and if you have seeing a zero, keep it as a zero, still move to the left. Till what? Till you get a blank. So if you get a blank, keep it as a blank, move to the right. Are you able to understand it or not? Okay. So now I have reached here. I made this blank and move to the right. I am in this position. Now again, what I will do? I will make this one to the blank. Move to the right. Any number of ones zero. I will make them as zeros and still go for the blank. If this is a blank, I will make it as a blank and move to the left. The tape head is pointing to here. Okay. Now you reach it to the state called Q two. From Q two, if you find a one, make it as a blank. Okay, make it as a blank. Move to the left. Yeah, you reach it here. Now, if you see a zero, make it as zero. Move to the left. You reach it here. If it is a one, make it as a one. Move to the left. So you will keep on moving here. If you see a blank, make it as a blank. Move to the right. So you are here. and you reach the turing machine state called q not if it is a one you are making it as a blank move to the right simple process and whenever you get ones you make it one and move to the right and whenever you get a zero make it zero and move to the right still what till you get a blank if it is a blank make it as a blank and move to the left Now, according to this one, if you find any one, you will make it as a blank and left n. But you got a zero. The meaning is that the number of ones in the n are finished. Means you have made them as all the blanks. Then what it will looks at last? You will get five blanks, one zero, four blanks. Am I right or wrong? But if you get one zero, it is not the correct output. So what I will do is that. in the state q2 where you are you are in the state q2 if you see a zero you make it into one move to the left and reach to the state called q3 that's all so you have seen a zero make it to one move to the left and you are in the state q3 so that is done so i got the one one so my tape head is pointing to here i can read the output as one one So this is a Turing machine for performing the subtraction when m value is greater than n. Okay. So I hope you have understood this construction process. If you have any doubts, feel free to ask it in the comment section. I will always there to clear your doubts in less than twenty-four hours. Thank you for watching my video. Have a nice day.